Hey there, y'all. Tony here. Just uh, a little update on this old 91 Pontiac. <clears throat> Jesus and Bob's been helping me, and Travis helped me fit the motor in to the car. Now, what I've done here is. Uh, See that says Vortec V6. This is a 91. That's a, a 99 model engine. But see that four barrel intake. Get that straight from Edelbrock. Maybe not straight from Edelbrock, but you can buy it. And then uh, you just put the one wire distributor that the I got offline. Pull this puppy up on number one. Okay. You know you put your finger over, do a little crank, and then line it up there with your screwdriver and a little turn. I'm shaking this morning. Sorry about that. And uh, wire it up. One six five four three two. And she will run like a champ now they suggest no bigger than a 500 CFM I put a 650 on I've had this intake and the uh, distributor in another motor and uh, put a 650 on there and slung that baby shit it won't hold it punch that four barrel like a turbo so with this one I've got a, a 600 Edelbrock I've got in a swap meet and I'm gonna unhook the four barrel went with old Pontiac blue just as Pontiac ain't made a motor since 1981 but you know, it's crazy that this little engine right here that weighs about 180 pounds less than the tune port 50 that was in it that came all the way out to here you know it's five inches more is what it turned out to be and uh, had to pull the transmission forward one inch because these cars came out with a 3-1 but this is a v8 car so it's got the all the v8 components mm -hmm. Now, Bob, you calm down. What, calm down. What, what's what got you riled up? Am I not paying attention to you? You're going to get mad? Look, <laughs> he thinks I'm talking to somebody and not paying attention to him, so he's, he's getting a little pissed. But he'll get over it. <laughs> he's chewing at my leg. <laughs> He's one of those uh, selfish dogs, you know. You're his. He, he's not yours. You're his. But I was watching a guy on YouTube this morning and looking at his project, and I thought, well, I might show mine. You know, a lot of my buddies just give me hell because everybody always goes bigger on the engine. But this car's for my girlfriend and been working on it a long time i raised the seats two inches so she could see over <laughs> the steering wheel because she's a little short and uh she had rotten floor pans a bad engine i got it from a buddy he said it was good it was good and ready for the junkyard but it didn't get it but there were you know this engine puts out as much as that other and what I took this out of, a S10 4x4, weighed 2,200 pounds more than this car. So, I'm thinking that this will be quite sufficient. Like Rolls Royce said on their power, sufficient. <laughs> now, it, I did it in an S10 because I had some uh, trouble with sensors and different shit and it it ended up once I got all into it tearing it all out to put this intake on it I found the burnt wire 
that was killing the truck. It was kind of messed up. But went in and put this on it and ran it 200 miles before I slung it apart. Now, it was the most best, funnest 200 miles that S10 ever had in its life because it would not stop at 99. It just kept going. Um, yeah, that's the one thing about it. When you do this, there's no rev limiter. So you either got to put one in that distributor. I've heard you can do that with a module. Probably can. It's about as shit as we got. I haven't checked. Um, I'm going to hook up the tack. And, you know, if you can't be your own rev limiter, then, well, I guess you'll just put another engine in, won't you? You know, back in the day, and have rev limiters. We had to be our own rev limiter. We called it burping that throttle. But yeah, I spun the last one out because I, I burped a little late. But I just want to put this down. Say, send a shout out to my seven subscribers. <laughs> Say, what's up? What's up? I never really show my face too much on camera because I'm the cameraman, the speaker man. I'm the, uh, I turn the wrenches, you know? And I, I'm not as easy. Like Toby Keith, I'm not as good as I once was. <laughs> I got a few years on me now. <laughs> but I totally like these little engines and I like the setup and the eight bolts on the intake I don't mind it it's just you know <laughs> it runs like a little little rat motor I'll uh I'll shoot up one once I get it all together I'll take several days I'm going down to the parts house to get some stuff now but I'll take several days um putting this together to get it to look right to look you know not like a hillbilly jackknife and but I want to say to you guys you can always fix something no machine is ever dead as long as we continue to throw parts at it, it'll eventually jump up and rise. People ain't like that. Mom just died not too long ago. It's been bad. But these old things here like this keep your mind busy. So I encourage all of you to keep your mind busy. Stay focused. I've been watching these negative tweets and stuff. Nobody's mother tell them if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. My goodness. So, one more thing. These little engines are powder coated. As you can see over here on this side. Doesn't look as good as this side. All the powder coat was burnt off of this side. And that powder coat's kind of, nah, it's going to be all covered up by accessories anyway. Why? I was not in the mood. You feeling me? But, point in case, down by the starter, <laughs> there was not very much contact point down there. I had a lot of trouble getting it to fire on the engine stand until I grounded out the starter. Just using the factory ground wasn't doing it. The, port, the bolt up here on the front. See the bolt up here on the front? Try to use that, clean that all up, and Bob hush it. Try to use that, and nothing. So when I had it upside down, putting a pan gasket on it, I seen that underneath that starter is just powder coat. It wasn't paint, it's powder coat. And you can't get no ground through plastic. And I do not condone powder coat at all. I think it's the worst thing that ever happened to any metal. And if you don't believe me, just look at some lawnmowers that's been powder coated. 
underneath a car that's been powder coated five years later. That's been drove. Not just set somewhere. Drove. All these powder coated trucks that come out. It's just made me want to. I just threw up in my mouth a little. Alright, so anyway, that's how I feel about powder coat. General Motors rocks. <laughs> As always, they call it Dodge for a reason. Have a good day.